what's going on youtube it's your boy clark back at it again with another video man hey man we're gonna be reacting to um the trucking guru man i just seen her around on instagram and stuff they say she out here scamming people man and you know i i do not like people scam i do not like to see our black people man get scammed you know and already get scammed by the government all these taxes and everything we got to pay but uh pocket watching with jt man pocket watch jt he interviewed a female her name is uh the trucking guru man but yeah man so what you gonna do reaction video uh shout out to all my veterans out there a salute everybody's still in everybody's out already man shout out to all my veterans out there man we still doing it we still pushing baby hey but um yeah so we're gonna go ahead and react to react to pocket watching with jt video man y'all follow pocket watching with jt he has good ass content over there uh he exposed some of these scammers man these scammers out here scamming our black people man we need we need to stop this man scamming our black people man all this hard money and our earned money that we work for man so um yeah man what you gonna break this video down man y'all like hit that like comment subscribe and uh we about to get into it hey tonight we're talking about the trucking guru and we're asking the question is the trucking guru a fake guru all right now big shout out to the big homie and friend of pocket watching with jt spencer cornelia he just recently came out with this video we will be reacting to this video tonight now mind you when you go to her information man if you go to her information on instagram it just looks phony man i don't know if it's just me but it just looked phony to me, man. Let me let me get on here right quick. All right, so on her Instagram, Kiara Henderson, the trucking guru, that's what she called herself. Uh, she big flexed up right now. Now, now that she, uh, they just say she's scamming, she big flexed up. You know what I'm saying? She got the money out. She flexed up on you. Five, six, seven, eight, M's in my bank account. Yeah, in my bank account. Hey, okay, yeah, okay. Okay, okay. She said, she said, she said, um, she ain't even finna, um, play with you haters. But yeah, she, she got dispatching course, 140 truck, fleet owner, voted number one, 20 million. It's just a, a, a lot. I'm a, I'm gonna be honest. To me, it just sound kept to me. I, I got to see the, uh, hey, I ain't got to do all this to, to, to start my company, get a dispatching course. I dispatch myself. You do not need no dispatching course, all this um, help to do an LLC. Hey, if you need to know how to start a trucking business, link in the description. Link in the description. Spencer, as he normally does, he did an amazing job investigating and breaking down what he found on the public record of the so-called trucking guru. Now, hey, shout out to Spencer Cornelia. This woman has made many, many, many claims. She says she's making a hundred million on the truckers. About her personal wealth and her ability to help you become a millionaire. Now, for those of you who are unaware of what's been going on the past few days, I'm gonna share clips of this video and we'll be right back. I found a fake guru telling you that she's made $100 million, but what she hasn't told you is she can't afford rent. Black Queen makes over $100 million in trucking without a driver's license. Her brand is the trucking guru. She claims to own 140 trucks. Hey, Spencer Cornelia, you weren't playing. After a little digging, he dug in all that. I think this fake guru might not be telling the truth. Oh, did you end up having to do like any jail time or anything? Yes. Oh, <laughs> talk to us yeah, about Yeah, I that. mean, but that's why I do this like i'm a felon so i know what it's like to not be able to actually make good money the prison she said she ended up having to do jail time yes and she was laughing about it yes yes and she said that's why she do this shit. that's why she scammed y'all man that's why she scammed y'all that's why she do this shit strong right now i think the financial crimes they're committing after serving prison time are worse than the ones before she has a few courses that will help you make seven figures in the trucking industry all my trucks i own over 140 anybody say something about some courses sign up for something do this do this i do this for you scam is cap do not do it man i'm telling you 
You can Google anything. Google anything. You can figure out it yourself. Now, I ain't going to lie. Some things you probably do need some people to, you know, help you to do something. But most of the stuff you can Google, especially if it's starting a business. Everybody that started a business before you. So you can Google that shit. Google whatever you want to start. You do not need no course. All this blase, blase, man. I'm telling you, man. 40 trucks. Let's do a little research to see if she's telling the truth. In one of the lawsuits filed against Kiera, I see the name Capital Choice Trucking. Using Safer, I find that Capital Choice Trucking is currently out of service as of July 2nd, 2000. So he on the DAT Safer app. This the app. This this the website you can go to check anybody business. He done dug into every one of her LLCs and, and can see that they is out of business. The DLT number, the address. 2023 at most this llc has four trucks another one of her companies is ttg logistics llc which is currently not authorized to operate and has only three drivers to captain Yoga brothers freight now where is these 140 something trucks it is a company possibly tied to her or her business partner and it's a broker with zero trucks i don't see any proof for any indication that she owns more than a couple trucks and before they get to googling because one of these holes we just had a whole thing in the tribe is googling now, red flag number two, before they get to Googling, Google don't lie. Google don't lie. If it's public records, Google going to tell the truth. So ain't no lying about that, especially if it's filed through the government. You can't lie about no, no DLT number, no LLC. You can't lie. So they're going to find that. They're going to find that before they get to Googling. That means you about to cap. That's what it sounds like to me. What y'all think? It's really got money you can't google uh. all of the trucking records are public and they're saying pretty clearly if you really got money you can't google that you're a fraud God. i fumbled and failed and fucked up but the first week i did it i made ten thousand dollars and that was it i was like i'm gonna fuck with this if i could do 10 i knew i could do millions of dollars a week she got the motivation though that's what i did those millions per week must not have been in 2017 when she was evicted from her apartment in Tarrant County, Texas. It must not have been in 2018 when she was evicted from her next apartment in Tarrant County, Texas. Mm, mm, mm. And it must not have been in 2019 when she was evicted from her next apartment in Tarrant County, Texas. And then a couple of months later, she received a judgment in the amount of $5,700 against her. I knew with that, like, I don't got no high school. 5700 would you make it what? Honey, man, honey, no GED, no nothing, right? I got all these mother felonies, a whole bunch of them. Kiera has a few courses on ways to make money in the trucking business, but she found the best way to make money was to steal tens of thousands of dollars from her customers under the illusion that she would make them rich. This victim filed a complaint with the Attorney General of Texas, stating that they gave Kiera $40,000 to help buy a truck. And, and they got public records on you. Why would someone accuse you of doing this? And then go as far as to having to sue you for their money. I don't know. That that, that that just don't sound like no good business to me. That just don't sound like no good business. And get one operable to make passive income. They allege that they've received nothing in return. The victim further states that Kiara reached out to me and told me that I was lying on her that she never agreed to run the truck for me. This next... Mm. Next complaint is even worse. This victim wanted to buy a truck for Kiera's fleet buying program. She was promised assistance in buying trucks and earning weekly income. They started the program in May 2022 and in March 2023. Now, red flag number three, man. Somebody started saying something about some fleet buying program, truck buying service. Give me this. You can buy this. Get in this program. Sign this contract. Man, I'm telling you. If you ain't dealing straight with the from the bank to the truck lot, you doing too much. Ain't no kind of buy a truck program. That's it. That's that, all. That is a scam, man. That is a scam, man. I hate how these people keep be getting y'all, man. Google this shit, man. Google this shit before you just start jumping into these people laps and just giving them y'all money. Come on, man. Y'all got to do better, man.
the victim had still not received anything. Kira, the trucking guru's biggest revenue source, seems to be this fleet buying program since victims gave her significant amounts of money, thinking she was an actual trucking guru capable of setting them up for success. Kira told that same victim that she was able to purchase a truck in June 2022 as part of the program and sent a picture of the truck with its MC DOT number. Kira never sent a picture of the truck with the MC DOT number. Okay. Sent over proof of purchase documents. That victim had enough with the excuses, so they. If I buy a truck, I want the van, I want the seller, I want everything. I want to wear it. Come from. I ain't finna just give you forty bands, and I'm the, you gonna send me an MC and a DOT number if I'm reading that right. But flew to Dallas, Texas, on September 29, 2022, to meet with Kiera and her business partner Frank, and they. She didn't flew there. They allegedly stood her up. They claimed one of their semi trucks was stolen the night before, and they wouldn't be able to meet up. I don't know if this typical. Typical scam alignment. Semi truck broke down and I couldn't show up. Come on, that's bad business. It's true, but somebody said you touching like a hundred M's. Is this true? That was four years ago. <laughs> man, I don't know, man. It just looked capish to me. <laughs> four years ago was 2019 when. And by the way, I think this is the same video that she took down. It had like a million views. It had a uh, truck and guru, something like that. She recently took it down. She's supposed to be going live today at 1 p.m. So it just this video will probably be already dropped. But yeah, she's supposed to be telling why she took that video down after she accused of all these allegations. I don't know. Why would you take the video down? You know what I'm saying? And she said a lot of stuff in that video. It's probably going to be used in the court of law. You know what I'm saying? So, hey. I better stop playing with these people money, man. They coming to get it. They coming to get it. When she was on her little hot streak of evictions and $5,000 judgments, I've never heard of someone making $100 million and not being able to pay rent in an apartment. Kiera posted this video to her Instagram on August 21, 2022, bragging to her audience about now living in million dollar homes, bills. And she flexes a lot. That's it. Red flag number four. A lot of flexing. A lot of flexing. You scamming. You flexing too hard. A lot of flex. Ain't nothing wrong with flexing. Do your thing. But hey, if you flexing too hard, come on. Who's on auto pay? You starting on somebody. You ain't doing it for yourself. You starting on somebody. And never having to ask how much it costs. I mean, ain't nothing wrong with it. Like I said, ain't nothing wrong with it. Do your thing. But hey, flexing a lot. Us. Whoa, Spencer, how did you find the house? Especially with evictions, you flexing a lot and you, you got evictions. How so quickly? Remember her little trouble paying rent a couple years ago? That house is now listed for rent for $30,000 per month. He didn't zillowed it. The lease stated she would pay $22,000 per month to rent the house. Four months after moving in, Kira did not pay rent. She refused to vacate the property despite being asked to leave due to not paying rent. What's funny is the lawsuit... You refuse to pay your rent. If you don't refuse to pay your rent, and I can see this on public records. You mean to tell me I'm gonna do some business with you? And you don't even care about where you live at? Come on. States that the post was uploaded while eviction proceedings were ongoing. Wait, are you the richest motherfucker? Are you one of the richest motherfuckers? Where I'm in Texas? Yeah, in, in the world. <laughs> no, not in the world. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> not yet. But I'm up there. I'm up there. This interview is only a couple months after being evicted. I found her trucking guru LLC info. All right, so we're going to fast forward when, uh, we're going to fast forward when, let me find it. Hey, I need to chill. I got, I'm doing some. We're going to find when. All right, so we're going we to go ahead and fast forward to when Pocket Watching, when JT starts talking on live, this is a couple of days ago, on uh, live with Kiera, the trucking guru, and she mad. She big mad. Kiera Henderson, the trucking guru, what's going on? Not much, what's up? Thank you so much for Before coming we... to Pocket Watching with JT. 
I want to give you an opportunity because I show before we even start. Before we even start, check the background now. You accuse a scamming, taking all these people money, hurting all these families, and you get on live to address the situation with all that back there in the background. Come on, man. But yeah, hey, hey, hey. clips of the video by Spencer and we reacted to that. I'm going to give you an opportunity to state your case on what you think is going. So, as far as the video that she was made, done by right, Mr. Mr. Cornelia, he made several hands cross, you he mad. A lot of hands cross, hands cross, you mad. In that she video. Uh, let's, let's go point by point. So, as far hey. as she, <laughs> she ready, boy. As when it comes to she ready to dress, the yeah. 140 trucks Yes. That you had claimed that you that I you own, own. I own over a hundred and forty trucks. She about to address that. Let's see, one hundred and forty trucks. We're gonna see about 140. that. One hundred and forty. Get it right. Over one hundred and forty. Okay. Yeah. Okay. How do you own over one hundred and forty? How pay, were you able pay, to accumulate over one hundred and forty? I paid cash for them. You paid cash for over one hundred and forty yes, trucks. That's smart. She really smart. You know what I'm saying? You about to go in the courts of law? You gonna say you paid cash for everything? That's smart. Smart woman. I did. And if you take your ass to uh, Facebook Marketplace, you'll see trucks on there for 20, 30, sometimes 10,000. It's easy. It ain't rocket science. Okay. Yeah, you do find some trucks on Facebook Marketplace for that cheap. But they do, they're going to have some issues and they're going to be in the shop, in and out the shop. But you can't find something that cheap. You know what I'm saying? Here nowadays, if it ain't 70, 80, 90,000, hey, you really got a truck that's probably going to give you couple issues but you might find you some that's a hey, good, good you might find one okay all right so and when did you start accumulating these trucks what year was it I've when you got truck for over one? 20 years next question over 20 so over the span of 20 I've, been, years. I've been in the industry for over 20 years 20 years i've okay. been doing this before the trucking guru all right next so you started you started about 20 years ago next. accumulating the 140. next she want to answer the question and keep it pushing she don't want him to stay on that subject. Typical capish, capish vibe. You know what I'm saying? Typical capish vibe. She don't want him to dig into that question any more into that question, which I don't understand why she even on here. She don't want to talk. How you gonna answer the question and say next? But hey, that's what she hey, You addressing your people, but this is all I'm saying. If you putting all this people, all this stuff out to all these people on the internet, hey, take my dispatch course. Hey, sign up for this, sign up for that. I'm going to help you, help you, help you change your life, blah, 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 blah. I feel like some questions you should have to ask. And some of these, some some people should, should want to know about this stuff. When did you start? They want to they wanna know that stuff. When did you start? I ain't finna give all this money to you when I don't even know how long you've been in business. How did you get started? Hey, let me know some a background or some. Come on now. All right, we're back with it. Let's go. Hey. All right, I'm I'm gonna get there. Give me one second. I write slow, so you gotta you gotta gotta bear with me. All right, so write fast. You, hey, pocket watch with JT is funny, man. Y'all need to check out his channel. He is funny and real petty. That man is funny. <laughs> You're kind of remind me of me sometimes. You said that, I believe in an interview, you said four years ago, so I think that gets us around the 2018-ish range. So, so let me four. let me correct y'all on that, because that, okay, that's no, the no. Look, she already knew what he was going to ask. She already got the question. Look, she already, she ready for the questions. That's a clip from the interview where they said, we heard, we heard, not you told us. Not, not she fixing, she fixing stuff from shit she done said on interviews. Kevin, right? But we heard you were touching close to 100 million. Is that true? Right. That's and what was your answer? That was that was four years ago. So four years ago would have been around what year? That was four years ago. You smart? Do math. That was four years. Well, ago. I, I was about to. How long has she been scamming these people? I wonder how long that is. Allegedly, that's what they say, though. Know? You know what I'm saying? Allegedly. That, that, that was, that was, that was four, that was four years clear. ago when I actually posted this shit on my page. Okay, so around 2018-ish. 
You know how to do math. Go ahead. Next. Okay. All right. Yep. The madness, man. I don't know, man. I didn't miss scam. I didn't miss scam. I, I didn't. People done done me dirty with money, so I know how people act that done done you dirty. You know what I'm saying? I didn't look motherfucker in they face, and they sit there and lie. And you already know they took their money, man. But hey, it's how people do you, man. They don't care. They all they care about they self. And it's just people out here. And I'm glad it's people like Pocket Watching with JT that will put these people out, man. Tone the clothes of pocket watch JT all man, they put these people out because they taking our people money, man. People work hard for this money. I, I went to school for it. All right, so act like it. And around that time, <laughs> at around that time, they have records of you having several evictions. Several, several. Several evictions. Uh-huh. So you had around a hundred million dollars. More than that, actually. But go More ahead. Than- you had a hundred million dollars and you got it. Several evictions. In that, uh-huh. But you also had several evictions yes. on your record. Yes. If that's what that's Would you what like to explain how that sure. happened. Sure. Okay. Damn, I love I probably want JT answering questions. He's like, what do I want to hear? Okay. About Go right in. What what I need you to first do is find the address that I actually lived at for years, produce that first, then ask me that question. Well, I'm I'm not gonna do that at this yeah, time. Because you, you just can't. explain because because you can't. How you, how you had the several events. If you evictions. knew anything about me, you'd see I was in the same place for years. What are y'all talking about? He said, I don't know, man. If I'm getting into the trucking industry, I just wouldn't put my, I just wouldn't put my career in her hands. If I just got out of CDL school or trying to go to CDL school, I wouldn't go to her. It just looked too much cabbage over there. I'm sorry. That's just my opinion. It just looked too cabbage over there. And he didn't just say 18. He said 17, 18. You do not need all this stuff to start driving trucks. You do not need all this stuff to start a trucking company. Like I said, check out my trucking, how to start a trucking company video. Right there, up there at the top, man. I think 19. Come on. Y'all, 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 y'all dumb. All right. So, so to be clear, are, are, are you saying that the evictions on your record that he found are those incorrect? I have, and I haven't even seen them because I don't have no evictions on my record. Now, so you're, so you're saying that in, you're saying that in, you don't have no evictions on your record, but the man just pulled up the damn court document from the evictions that you had. Correct. Hold on, hold on. I okay. was I really just this one. Okay. I've spoken publicly about this when I had a mental breakdown when me and my ex. I really just this one. My husband was going through things. I left our house because he kept kicking in the door. And I didn't care what happened with that. That might be on there, but that's it. That might be on there, but that's it. That's a good story, though. But look. Somebody please tell me. If you got eviction on your record, the hell you don't know that. I don't know. I take my records every, every week, every two weeks. I check all my credit here just to make sure everything's straight. You will see that on your credit if you really, if you a big business, big business woman, you, you can probably get your credit ran a lot. Trust me, I know. On the business, you, you got you to gotta put your name, your business name on a lot of stuff. You got, they, they run your background, they do a lot. So you, you, you know what's on your, you know what's on your record. Okay, so the one particular eviction the the mansion where they had the you know the court case and he was able to show the court case where the actual landlord I actually have- did a, a, a you know they had a clip yes. or a, you know a screenshot yes. of you you know representing that you lived there and representing that you had your bills on auto pay at the time yes they were actually saying that you were actively being evicted at that time so is that incorrect that's incorrect and what i also so she was flexed up on the ground but she was actively being evicted. I would like to, what I like for you to find, since you like to do your research, yep. go find the dismissal for that shit, please. Because mm-hmm. it's out there. Just like that's public record, mm-hmm. that dismissal is too. Next. So, so you're saying that you made, yes. you made every payment, you were not laid on and your then, here, Here's the crazy thing. Uh-huh. That big, huge amount I had to pay, everything was like wrapped together. Water, utilities, all of that. She said, go find a dismissal on her eviction court document. Okay. So how how would I not pay you till you not pay pay them? Nah, come on, that was dismissed. Next, 
Okay, so I want to be clear before we go to the next point. Are you saying that you were never late on your rent? You always I, paid I was, your rent I was on time. Never, I was never. My contract that I had with them, I was never late on my rent. Never. Okay, okay. you was never. But the more than one eviction, you're saying that those evictions are incorrect. I haven't even seen them. Don't even know what you're talking about. Fuck on the one don't I didn't know about. Next. Haven't seen them. Don't know what you're talking about. The man just pulled it up online. Got it. All right. Make a note of that. All right. So let's go to the next thing here. So when you were in prison. And by the way, I'm nobody to be talking. Trust me. Then what did you go to prison for? None of your business. It's still next. Does it doesn't matter. OK, yep. well, you had a conversation before. Played on your rent. You always I, paid I was, your rent I was on time. never. I was never. My contract that I had with them, I was never late on my rent. Never. Okay. okay, you was never. But the more than one eviction, you're saying that those evictions are incorrect. I haven't even seen them. Don't even know what you're talking about. Spoke on the one don't I didn't know about. Next. Got it. All right. Make a note of that. All right. So let's go to the next thing here. So when you were in prison, what did you go to prison for? None of your business. It's still. Next. Does it doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah. Well, you had a con. None of your business. I don't know, man. I just wouldn't put put my career trying to uh, get into the trucking world and a person hand that just act like that. I don't know. I don't know if she act like that before this, but we're going to see. Conversation before in an earlier podcast about what you learned in prison. What did you learn in prison? It was a joke. Okay, well, I, I, I'm joke. giving you the platform. Somebody say it was a joke. Typical capish behavior. Platform to explain. It was a joke, and I love how you ran with it. Yeah. I learned how to mm -hmm. move wisely. I no, learned no, no. how to take my future into my own fucking hands. No, no. I learned not to let previous felonies hinder me. That's what I learned. Okay. I okay, okay. Also learned the game to give to other folks that looked like me and was in my same fucking situation. That's what I learned. That's what you learned. Okay, okay. She mad. In prison. Got it. All right. So my next question for you is it's more concerning the uh the lawsuit. Yes. Now those mm -hmm. cases are all open. So there are certain okay. things I cannot say, okay? All right, well, I'm gonna ask the question and you can say, you know, Go no ahead. comment or not. Oh, matter of fact, so you don't gotta ask. She know about them cases. Shit, because okay. I seen a bit of your your little interview that you did, and you said that right. I basically made claims to fame. Why he putting up big on the screen? He is petty. <laughs> that I would get them million dollars and they make all this money, right? You said that my program. What what did you say the lawyer said my program was? All right, so I, I, let's be clear here. Got that bit rock though. Pocket watching with JT didn't say anything. Pocket watching with JT was oh, I'm reading. Sorry. I'm sorry. You yeah, read, I was reading what read. the lawyer my bad, said. My bad. You're right. You read. So, yeah, you read? I, I, I was reading what the lawyer said. And based on what the lawyer said in the lawsuit, mm -hmm. the lawyer was saying that it was your program, your turnkey program, was a get rich quick scheme. That's what the okay. lawyer said okay. in the document. Then what did they say? I'm sorry. Say what? Then what did they say? Then what did they say after they, that? They claim that you defrauded their clients out of money. And then what? <laughs> she, she she want him to keep talking. What do you mean it didn't keep talking? You didn't you didn't scam these people out of money. I, I I'm not sure what you're looking for. What you can I, go I ahead and provide the info that you're looking. She ain't explaining herself yet. So I can answer. That's that's what I'm doing. You doing what? I want you to complete your sentence. So no, I, I did. I did. So that's that, that that's what that's what I read. I read the fact that a lawyer drew up a lawsuit for their client. Mm -hmm. They claim that your program is a get rich quick scheme. That's what's in the actual lawsuit. And they claim that they you defrauded their client out of several thousands of dollars. So and now you mm. So somebody filed a case on her whole program. Mm. That's to be Moco. And then, and then you said what? I'm, I'm not sure what you're what you're asking. After you made this statement previously, you made a statement after that out of your mouth, not what you read. What did you say? Okay, well, refresh me. That's, that's what I'm trying to clear up for you. 
refresh my memory. Oh, you don't know what you said now? Yeah, listen, I do a lot of shows. Refresh my memory. You do a lot of talking. Refresh my memory. You do a lot of talking. Cool, though. <laughs> so what you said was, if the lawyers are saying that this is a get-rich-quick scheme, something is not right. That's what you said, right? Uh, it was probably similar. What I probably said, okay, now refresh my memory. But I said not- it's a little different mm-hmm. when a YouTuber mm-hmm. or you know someone online is saying, I think this course is a get-rich-quick thing. That's one thing. Okay. Well, when the lawyer actually puts it in the lawsuit, mm-hmm. it's serious. If a lawyer, if a lawyer, he gets to the right point. If a lawyer filing that, that's some serious shit. It's a little different. That's okay. what I think. That's very similar to what I said. So go okay. ahead. So when a lawyer puts something in a lawsuit, mm-hmm. that's basically just what they think. What I did for my turnkey was people could not. If a lawyer think that. A lawyer is not going to waste their time to build a case that they think they're going to lose. Before it avoids certain like insurance amounts and things like that. Do you even know what my turnkey is before I get into this so I can explain it if you don't? Go ahead and explain it. All right. So my turnkey, there's no promise of nothing. We can't promise anything. Trucking is highly volatile. You Typical scammer quote there is no promise but when i was giving you the money we gonna promise you get this we gonna promise you you'll stay in this lane we're gonna promise your truck make this much every week we're gonna promise you bring in this month we're gonna promise you keep this much nah it's no promises that's the typical scam and stuff man stop letting these people get y'all you never know what could happen the only thing that we have is a lane that you can run until you can't we don't say you're gonna make millions of dollars thousands of dollars we cannot do that because you may have a, a sorry driver in your truck your equipment might be faulty so we never once said that i never once said that that's not what the turnkey program is okay all right and to give a little bit more context of what i was saying we about to wrap this up. i want to be clear here i'm trying to get to one main point earlier. you may not be aware of this okay but an attorney cannot simply throw whatever they want they can the that, they, they, they can't. No, 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 you're factually, y'all, you're y'all, factually y'all, incorrect. Y'all, if, y'all, if an attorney, y'all, 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 hold on, hold on. I'm gonna give you a second. That, that, that's let, me actually, let, let me explain here. Let, let me explain. You, let, let me explain. Now, an attorney, attorney, she don't get it, can be sanctioned and penalized if they frivolously just draw up a lawsuit and they throw a bunch of stuff in there that is absolutely ridiculous. That's cap. The attorney's not gonna write up some cap stuff about you. They can be hindered under law. Right? If they throw in things in there that any reputable attorney would know not to do, it's 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 called negligence. Okay, it's negligence. If an attorney drafts up a, a lawsuit with a bunch of things that any reputable attorney would say, you can't say that. That would actually be negligence. That's why I'm saying it's a little different when an attorney drafts up something and calls it a get rich quick scheme. And it's different when a person online does it. So that's that's the the point that I was trying to make. Ho- hopefully that cleared that up. And she laughing. Look, she's smiling over there. She don't care about your money, man. She's smiling. People will do you dirty about some money, boy. People will do you dirty about some money. It did, thank you, because I was about to go in on you. Now, now I understand what you're saying. My apologies. Oh no, no so, problem at all. Here's the thing: mm-hmm. when we do the turnkey program, we have contracts. In the contract, okay. there's no promise of 20, 30, 40, 50, no dollar amount, right? Because we also don't know what type of equipment is going to be required. We don't, we don't have your information, so we, we would never be like, okay, well, you're going to make fifty thousand dollars. So that's that's not true, sweetheart, at all. And that's not what my program is. Actually. Okay. All right. And the next point I want to talk about, there was a particular person who I believe they filed a complaint with the attorney general mm-hmm. and they claimed that they, you know, gave you a sum of money or your business a sum of money to purchase mm-hmm. a truck. And then when, you know, they were trying to get more verification that the truck was purchased, they then flew to where you are and where your company is. And they basically stated that they were stood up. 
they, they went out they, there and they, you know, you didn't meet with them and you claimed that one of your trucks was actually stolen at that time. Cap. I mean, you could not meet with them. Is is that an accurate statement? Is that rain or shine? Look at that and see for me real quick. Well, I'm not sure. Give me one second. But okay. anybody, any, any person, no, that no, happened with anybody. Not, it definitely did not. And no. It never happened. So rain, no, shine, that, that never happened. But anybody, I mean, that never happened. The reason I say I need you to look up if it's rain or shine, mm -hmm. because I believe that I seen it online and she tried to she tried to run with that. And that's insane when I got the fucking text messages with you saying I'm here where you at and I'm guiding you. She need to put them text messages out. She need to prove something. Hey, you got to prove something to these people. You just saying something is not going to make people think otherwise. You need to get some proof, information, and correct all these people that saying you're doing this. Because it's a bad look especially on the black community to the fucking truck lot come okay. on so that so that did that, not happen no that that you, did not, that you were willing to meet with this person i if, if that's rain or shine i met with her and her dude at, she said if that's rain or shine so somebody else she didn't she didn't got got she said if that's rain or shine so somebody else she didn't got the fucking truck yard got it all right and, and here's one of my she mad last question said is there any particular reason why these different llc's that you ran and you operated were actually administrative hey look i see i should keep looking that way dissolved and oh, somebody else. are no longer able to operate in the states where they I thought she probably had somebody tell her that was set up in is there any particular reason why that's the case run down the list of them and i'll let you know for each one well each well i mean they're, they're your businesses any any of look at their posture man your llc's but why would any of your LLCs now be administratively dissolved. Why now that all this scam and stuff coming up, your LLCs are dissolved? So for Pierre Henderson's businesses, I don't even mm -hmm. use an LLC. Okay. So I need to know which ones you're talking in reference. For your business, you don't use an LLC. Any business I got. I use the LLCC. I, I use the LL. Any business. Because when Kiara Henderson does shit, <laughs> she will fuck up. The only LLC that's dissolved is the, the trucking guru. Being honest with you, that's the only one. For Kiara Henderson. Oh. What's crazy is that dude that posted all them LLCs and the authorities, Kiara Henderson, name wasn't on shit. But the trucking guru, you're not associated with the trucking guru? Oh, no, no, guru? no. I said that one. Okay. So yeah. let's let's answer that one. Why why is the trucking guru? Why is that one why is that dissolved? Administratively dissolved. Because I didn't pay the tech the state tax thing on it. Because Tierra don't have no business doing that. She should have gave it to her team. Are, are, is the trucking guru no longer in business? The trucking guru isn't. Let's say it again. Her. It is. All right, folks. She said Kiara had no business starting or controlling the business or whatever she did. Hold on, I'm be right back. Yes. It is. All right, so what I was saying, if you have an LLC, some people will take their LLC and all some trucking people, because you know it's not just an LLC when you have a trucking company. You got to get an LLC, you got to get EIN number, you got to get DOT number, you got to get a whole bunch of stuff. You can pay people to do all of this stuff. You can pay people like a couple thousand dollars and they will do everything. They'll set up your LLC, they'll set up all of this stuff for you. So some people get these people to pay that stuff. To pay that, pay, pay that. Some people get people to some people pay these people to for them to start their business up. So every year you have to pay these people. If you don't pay these people, they ain't gonna start your business. They ain't gonna they ain't gonna if you don't pay these people, they're not going to keep your business running because they did all the administration stuff to start. You can do all of that yourself. It's not a lot of paperwork, I'm telling you. Most of the stuff is online and just verifying your LLC every year and just paying paying, paying the fee, which is not a lot of money. A couple hundred dollars, trust me. So you just letting your LLC dissolve, that sounds kind of fishy because I'm telling you, that sounds kind of fishy to me. 
like I said, I don't know. I'm not in none of y'all situation. I don't know nothing, but you the trucking guru helping all these people out. You got all the support and all the the, the following. You know, you should have this stuff in order, I would think. I don't know. It is. Do you know we're doing why, now? Why is the LLC? Because it's under, it's under a different name and it's hidden from y'all. So y'all can stop looking me up. Okay. But what about T? <laughs> you owe people money. They're going to look you up. Trust me. They're going to look you up. Yeah. TG Logistics. If I owe people money, they're going to find my name. They're going to find my LLC. They're going to look me up too. Is that also you? What about it? Shout out to people that be looking me up. What? No. No, it's not. Okay, because that not. was also administratively dissolved based on the info that we have. It is, it is. But that and every single LLC that that man put up there, my name right. is not on. Well, I mean, your name being on it doesn't yeah. matter. So you was pushing this business for somebody else. So you had the the, the mouth, you had the voice to all this dispatching course, this course, that course, buy a trucking program. You had the voice to it now you're not tied to none of this so somebody on your team somebody finna get told on that would it sound like it does, as much as, it is it a company that you're associated with that. no just because something is associated so you were never with associated with what I will. if you associated nine times of ten you're gonna be in court right there with them if you associate what, what i will tell you okay the, the tioga one mm -hmm. And I've been in court plenty of times. Hey, Elder Brothers, when I first came out and I was trying to help people, they wanted to do the brokering. Someone partnered with me. I don't know what he did with that because we don't do that anymore. That's that's it. It's that simple. Like, what what is this proving though? That's what I want to know. What what's y'all's point in this? What what is this? Well, well, I mean, okay. Well what's our point? It ain't our point. It's what these people these people want their money. That's their point. And with you being the voice of the black trucking culture because hey to be honest I, mean, I see on you probably one of the biggest trucking influences on on instagram that i see you know what i'm saying so if you got a voice that big when you owe somebody money they gonna dig into all of that you know what i'm saying they gonna dig into all of that man well let me let me explain it from the perspective of financial advice okay, okay let, let, let's do that because okay. uh, maybe that'll give you a little bit more insight why it's somewhat alarming okay, okay. so you know, to operate business within a particular state, if you're not doing business under your natural born name, you normally have to get some sort of fictitious name, some sort of business entity to well, operate in a particular. You don't have. Hold on, that's not oh. true, sir. That's not true. It doesn't have. So to what be are you fictitious. talking about? It doesn't have to be fictitious. Don't do that. If you ain't making money in your business name, then you're making money in your personal name. Then you were like on a W two on a regular job. So I don't know what she about to say. There's proper business structure. Don't do okay, that. Okay, explain. Ex explain. Don't do that. Okay, explain. Explain it. Because I went to business school. So explain it to me. Well, well, no. If you went to business school, then you know that you can set up okay. your company a certain way. You Correct me if I'm wrong. Explain. Companies and different things like that. That's not fictitious. Uh, fictitious. Fictitious is another name for your business name. She don't get it. Bless her folks. Okay, I think I know the problem. I think you're misunderstanding the term fictitious. Oh, okay, I might be, because fictitious sounds like fake as fuck. Ah, uh, see, that, see, see, that's the problem. She ready, to, she ready to snap. She ready to snap and read instead of just listening. Um, that's the problem. That's the problem with some of these women. There that's is. incorrect. Don't listen. Correct. I don't listen either. So in the actual world, yeah, in the actual world of business, we use the term, term fictitious as a substitute for the actual birth given name of a person, right? So my name is Jason Thorne, right? But I have different business entities. I operate in a different name other than just, like when clients write me checks, mm -hmm. they don't have to write me a check in my personal name. Right. They write the name of the business, business name. Mm -hmm. And we, we refer to that as a fictitious name. Okay. Well, She's stuck, yeah, you know. yeah. See, 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 there's, there's the disconnect. There it is. There it is. There, there it is. I That's what I was wondering. I was kind of surprised how you were going to teach me when I went to business school. I, so I was a little confused, but now we're there. I'm kind of surprised how you going to tell me how we doing shit, but here we are, right? Well, I'm, here we I'm are. I'm asking questions based on, got, based on the law. Your course got all your shit public, baby. Well, here we go. You don't even know.
All right, so so let me explain. So in order, so now I'm, I'm getting back to the point that I was making. Why is somewhat <laughs> alarming to have these businesses that are claimed that you know they're uh, dissolved and you can't operate in the business with these businesses? You cannot operate a business within a particular jurisdiction, let's say a state. You cannot operate that business if that business is not registered to do business in that state. Mm -hmm. If a company is administratively dissolved in a particular state. Dissolved mean I ain't making money with that business nowhere. The Secretary of State is basically saying you cannot do business in this state. Okay. So that's why a person like myself, a financial advisor, if I see a business that claims it's operating, but it has been administratively dissolved mm -hmm. in that state, it's a bad thing. Does that make sense? Why is that? Why is that? Can I just, just asking? Sure. Why is that a bad thing? Because the state is saying you cannot do business. So if you are operating business, mm -hmm. you're doing it. Sound like she, she don't even know what she got going on. Illegally. Mm, okay. Yeah. Or oh, she's just being petty and acting surprised, basically. Not that you can have people set things up and run things for you so you can stay out the way and, you know, focus on what you need to focus on. Right. Number one, don't not let no people set your stuff up. Do it yourself so you know what everything going on. Set your business up yourself. Right. That's a different That's a different thing. What we're talking okay. about is okay. setting well, up and operating, well, a, uh, having a fictitious name, having a business entity. Mm -hmm. Then that business entity fails to do the proper filing that the mm -hmm. business entity agreed to do mm -hmm. when it actually was formed. Mm -hmm. So then the state, normally the secretary of state, will administratively dissolve the business because that business did not keep up its obligations mm -hmm. to report the right financial or uh, you know, administrative documents. Mm -hmm. So it then is dissolved so that it can no longer do that. All right, man. So yeah, let me wrap that up, man. So. <laughs> Somebody, man, somebody come in, y'all talking about sell this, sell this, sell that. Trucking school, trucking is, do not listen to them. Don't get scared by these trucking, man. Find your CDL school, go get your CDL. Go to the school, study, stay down, do a little couple weeks. Some of these schools will even give you a job. You probably got to sign a contract for about six months to a year, but they'll give you a job and give you a CDL and pay for your school. But as soon as you try to leave them, you gonna owe that money, man. But yeah, man. So don't let these people scam y'all out here, man. I just reacted to this video. This pitiful that uh, they do to see black people. But hey, that's allegedly. So hey, we don't know, but we'll see. Hey, in court, they'll see in court. But hey, it's your boy Clark, man. Y'all hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that bell, and uh, I'll be back at it.